Hey guys, welcome back. So today's Friday, Affordable Friday. Today I'm gonna to be heading out to Target. The time now is 9.50, 9.50. Target closes at 11 here in New York City. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be heading out to Target to see what's new, what kind of new items they put out, things that I've missed, um, new launches. And I will show you what I picked up. Definitely looking for something affordable, like maybe a face wash or mask or even a night cream, or even an eye cream. I don't know. And I don't know why I'm dancing either, but I'm excited. <laughs> and I'm gonna be heading out, and I will be right back. Stay tuned. This video is not gonna be posted on Friday, by the way, because obviously it's nighttime, so it's gonna be more of like an affordable Saturday, but in Friday spirit, um, I will be right back. Stay tuned. The things you do for skincare. Do not ever neglect your skin. I'm almost there. Mind you, I didn't even bring an umbrella because I'm like so thirst. I'm like a few blocks away. I hope I don't get sick. <laughs> She don't like what he did. All right, so here I am. I'm back. I went out to Target, like always. <laughs> I feel like I always go there. But anyway, I'm back and I picked up some actually noteworthy products that I think are going to be amazing. Um, one of the products I picked up has an Allure Beauty Seal. So, you know, that's always amazing. They got it in 2016. Um, these two products were on sale at Target, so that's where I got them both. Um, and yeah, let's just dive right into it, I guess. So, today I picked up the Acure Brands brightening facial scrub and i also picked up the brightening cleansing gel can't see it because my lighting is way too bright um the brightening cleansing gel says that it's a pomegranate blackberry and acai face wash that's good for all skin types it says that it's 100 percent vegan and zero percent pretentious paraben free sulfate free mineral oil free and petroleum free silicone free and cruelty free so that is absolutely amazing um and the same thing for the face scrub as well i was looking over this brand like when i was standing in target and all of their products claim to be like paraben free and mineral free and all that stuff they are cruelty free and they do claim to use natural ingredients the brightening facial scrub that one says sea kelp super nutrient soften and detox while lemon peel and french green clay cleanse madonna lily brings the brightness to round out this refreshing facial scrub i've never heard of madonna lily so we're gonna see what that's about i've heard of the madonna madonna lily flower like in general but i've never heard of it being used in skin um so i'm curious to see how that's gonna react with my skin so for the brightening cleansing gel the ingredients are so this product has a six month lifespan so after you open it within six months you should use it and throw it away and if you have not used it all you should just toss it in the trash now for the brightening facial scrub 
the ingredients for this product are other products. And this product also has a six month life period as well. So obviously after the six months, if you haven't used it all, just throw it in the trash. Do not do what I do sometimes, try to hold on to the lifespan of some things. It's just gonna break you out and it's just gonna cause you skin irritations or even a chemical burn. All right, so let's get started. Actually, I'm lying. <laughs> I'm starving, so I'm gonna go get something to eat and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. So today's Saturday, obviously. Last night, I wound up just going to the seafood spot like down the block from my house and I knocked out <coughs> like watching YouTube videos. So <clears throat> now it's like, hey Google, what time is it? 5.52. It's 5.52. I'm going to wash my face and I'm going to get started with the Brightening Cleansing Gel. This has pomegranate, blackberry, and acai and it's designed for all skin types. All right, let's see what this is about. So, so this does have a fragrance and it's one of like the 10th ingredients on the list. Not really like prominent, it just smells like lemon. So when you pour it out, it's coming out clear. It's pretty, not really viscous, so it's pretty thin. And it doesn't really lather up that much, which I love because you know when soaps don't have like a rough lather or like a heavy lather, they're not gonna strip the pH of the skin and cause you to be dry after. So, so far, like, this is a plus. I love, like, the lather. It smells amazing. And the texture is, like, really unique. So, yeah. I think this is amazing, especially for it being $10. Yeah, I think this is a dope, a dope face wash, actually. <laughs> okay. So now I'm just gonna go rinse this off and I will be right back to try the scrub. Love the fact that the lather isn't ridiculous um, because it's not gonna strip the skin. And right now as I'm drying my face, I actually don't feel like it's taut or like tight. You know, sometimes like soaps can do that. Um, and my skin feels clean. So I'm back. And this is the brightening facial scrub. It says, <clears throat> sea kelp and french bean clay and it's gonna help purify the skin for all skin types <laughs> and it's funny this says seize the day with natural exfoliation from the ocean sea kelp super nutrients soften and detoxify while lemon peel and french bean clay cleanse without stripping away natural moisture madonna lily brings the brightness to round out this refreshing facial scrub um oh wow so this has a really unique color it's like really really green almost like kale um i've seen french green clay before and it is dark in terms of color so yeah this looks like some like a pesto <laughs> all right so after i just mixed in the scrub definitely feels very grainy um and it has almost like a soapy texture but let's see oh yeah definitely soapy Sounds good. So on contact, definitely like a rough scrub. Not like a coffee scrub or like, this reminds me of the St. Ives scrub growing up, if you ever tried that one. Definitely like an elevated version of that. Not as rough as the St. Ives scrub because those apricot seeds tend to be a bit rough. I actually like this one. It feels very thorough and it feels like it's cleaning the skin like the clay. I love the fragrance. It smells like earthy, but it still has that same lemon scent from like earlier from the face wash. The only thing I don't like about this scrub is that it has like that lathering effect, but it doesn't really seem to have like soap. 
Um, I'm guessing it gives you like that filmy texture from like the clay. It just feels like kind of weird. I don't know, but I'm not, I'm not, not here for it. <laughs> All right, so let me go wash this off and I will let you know my final thoughts. Yeah! As I was rinsing the face wash off, I noticed that it did have soap in it. So I'm guessing what they did was add like a little bit of like um, soap inside of like the scrub to help with like the cleansing benefits, which honestly is like a cheap way out if you ask me, because if you're claiming that it has clay and all of these ingredients inside of it, it should just be like a potent concentration of that and not lather when you wash it off. Um, that's just what I'm used to, but then, then again, this is like a drugstore brand product, so they do kind of have to cut corners to make the price, I mean, yeah, to make the price point a little bit more affordable, but that's the only thing that I don't like about that face scrub. So yeah, let me give you my final thoughts on everything. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Final thoughts. Definitely the face wash is something that I'm gonna continue using. I really do like the face wash I'm probably gonna use it like when I travel um, the last time I did affordable Friday the last face wash that I actually brought was the Dove um, Dry skin relief um, and I actually I absolutely love that scrub I keep that in the bathroom and I used it throughout the winter months um, because it was really really cold like in January and in February um, even March and sometimes it gets a little bit colder like periodically like every other day so I use that on the colder days to help with like moisturizing the skin definitely the face wash is something that I'm gonna be continuing to use and testing out its brightening effects so if you follow me on Instagram you'll definitely be seeing that and I'll like give you guys a follow-up I have been continuing to use the pumpkin peeling pads from too cool for school that was actually my last video and I'll link that above but I love, love, love those, especially like on nights when I'm really tired and I only just wash my face and want to exfoliate and don't want to do like a mask or anything else. And then in the morning time, I follow it up with like the essence pad and it just leaves my skin like glowy all day. It hasn't broken me out, so definitely a great product. I knew it was going to be good because of the ingredients. But yeah, the scrub. Definitely, I love the scrub. The only thing I don't like about the scrub is that it lathers a little bit. Um, just something that I'm not used to. Not sure if you guys are used to that either when it comes to a face scrub. But other than that, I think it's amazing. These products both retail for $9.99 at Target and obviously on the Acure website. You can probably find it at Ulta. Um, I want to say you can find it at Ulta because when I was working there, I did think we did get like some Acure products like trickling in. So yeah definitely look for it at target uh, thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in the next one i am about to go enjoy this nice weather for some reason it's been like 75 degrees today it's cocktail hours thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys Yeah. And you think I'm gonna do something for you? I'm asking you about my reservation. I don't I want to be no charged. Answers. I have no answers. No answers. No answers. Okay. What did I do? When you, you should walk up here. You, you're rude. You know that? I you didn't think, say it like that's that. That's exactly what you said. You're rude. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. After yeah. you've been rude. That's your camera? Yeah, it is. It's recording, yeah. <laughs> that's your camera? Well, that's a continuing show me for the day when you're Yeah. Uh huh. But you thought you was gonna talk to me crazy and I still had to do yeah. my job, is that what you thought? Yeah. Am I going to be charged? Not gonna happen. Am I going to be charged? I don't know what's gonna happen with your reservation. Okay. Alright, thanks a lot. Hey, one more time for the camera. Thank you. Let me smile. <laughs> what, what's your name? <laughs>